two million children die needlessly every year, but we have the power to save them. How do we do this? By ensuring they receive vaccines on time and intact. Here's the problem. According to the Gates Foundation, one in five children do not receive vaccines, especially in the developing world. And because of this, a child dies every 20 seconds from a preventable disease. So, if vaccines are the solution, why are children not receiving them? To answer this question, we have to consider the journey vaccines take as they travel from the manufacturer to the final destination. We call this journey the supply chain. As you can see, it's not a simple one. Vaccines travel from the manufacturer to central warehouses. From here, they travel to regional, provincial, district warehouses, and finally to the health clinics where they will be administered. Added to this complexity, records that are still handwritten, long delivery routes, and a lack of electricity to keep vaccines cold, and what we end up with is a highly inefficient supply chain. In fact, 50% of vaccines never make it to the children. This results in millions of lost dollars and, of course, lost lives. So we have to come up with a better solution. And fortunately, many organizations around the world are seeking a solution to this problem. A wonderful example is the development of vaccines that don't need to be refrigerated. And although this is wonderful, it only addresses one very small component of the entire vaccine journey that might still be riddled with other problems. So a global one-size-fits-all approach, it just doesn't work. To put this in context, the journey vaccines may take, for example, in Cape Town, South Africa, will face very different obstacles than if they traveled in Punjab, India. A, a, so a, one, a, a um, tailor-made solution is required. We came up with a simple way to fix this problem. Let's gather all of the information we can about the journey vaccines take and expose the problems unique to each individual supply chain. And in order to do so, let's come up with a way that it's easy to get access to everybody. So what we did was we developed a mobile app. Unfortunately for us, everyone in the world, or almost everyone in the world, owns a mobile phone. By having a driver instead of, um, as a proxy, instead of tracking each individual vaccine vial, we can track the driver with this app. By doing so, we can record the position and the time of the vaccines. This allows us to monitor the entire vaccine journey and expose the weak points. In addition, we can convert records into electronic forms. We can also assess whether the route taken was the shortest and most effective. And of course, let's not forget about the animals. In Africa, for example, two billion dollars worth of livestock are lost in this journey. So having a way to be able to monitor not only human vaccines, but agricultural vaccines will really change our world. Fixing supply chains, it may not sound very glamorous, but when it translates into saving lives, this is one journey that is worth it. Thank you very much.